Orange can be mixed out of yellow and red. Now there are a lot of different yellows available and there are also a lot of different reds available. So it matters what kind of yellow and red you choose. If you take just a regular primary yellow and you mix it with, for instance, spiral red, then you get a very nice kind of orange. Now it's all a matter of balance, of course. If you add relatively more yellow, you get a more yellow orange, of course. And if you balance it the other way with more red, you get a more red orange color. And you have all kinds of variations in between, of course. But it matters which yellow you choose because when you choose this yellow to make an orange, it will, will work perfectly fine because you can see that this yellow already leans a little bit towards orange. It looks already a little bit similar to this one, you see? So if I use this yellow with a slight amount, a slight amount of pyro red as well, then I get the same kind of result. And that's logical because I mix the same red and I mix a yellow that is already a little bit orangey. But this yellow, for instance, leans a little bit more towards green. It's a cat yellow lemon and the same pyro red that I used before, we get a different result, less saturated. And that is because the bias of this color is more towards the green side. Another option that I have here just to show you is yellow ochre. If I add pyro red to the yellow ochre as well, I can make quite saturated oranges, but not as saturated as this. And that's because yellow ochre contains a little bit of the third primary color blue. Long story short, if you look for a vivid orange, then take a very neutral yellow and a kind of neutral red or use a yellow that already leads towards orange then you get a vivid mixture now the other way around it's the same story goes for the red part in the orange so here i have carmine red and that leads a little bit towards purple so if i mix that this color with the yellow i used previously i also get a less saturated orange. You see this orange also is slightly less saturated than this one. If I want a fair comparison I add more red. You see it's slightly less vivid. It's detail work but it is there and th that's why I show this because this all this helps hopefully for better understanding the color theory. And I've already made a lot of videos about color theory. So for the basics, watch those videos. But if you've already watched those videos, then this makes quite a lot of sense, I think. And when I add more yellow, I get a uh, yellowy orange. And then the effect gets slightly less, you see? And that's because the amount of this red is less. So the effect of desaturation is less also. Now we get to magenta. Magenta is a primary in painting with pigments. So therefore, if I use magenta and I add this yellow again, then I should get a similar result to this. So you see, I get a very, very vivid orange. This is quite like this. And if I add a little bit more, yellow so you see now this looks very similar to that one so this contains yellow and magenta only and of course the rest of the so story remains the same if i would have added this yellow to the magenta we would get the same result as we did here and i can show you i run out of space on my palette and again that is because this yellow leans already towards the orange side so i must get a vivid orange and you see that is the case maybe slightly more and uh, as well of course the same goes for when i use this cadmium yellow lemon and i use the magenta i won't i can predict now already that it will have a similar look as this it will become less vivid because of the yellow used in this case I need more yellow 
again. You see, so it, it has an orange feel to it, but you see it's not vivid at all. So this looks similar to this. Now, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.